house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 19 updates and spoilers. Our house guests of the day are Krista Patton, Bryson, and Brea. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Hope you're having a lovely day. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alrighty. <laughs> Christmas and Matt were having a strategy chat in the bathroom yesterday. Who's Matt? <laughs> I mean, no offense to Matt, but he's turning out to be kind of a dud. I was really excited about him from his preseason interviews, but he just sits around and does nothing all day. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me. Maybe he's just going to like freaking pop out of nowhere in a few weeks and start playing. We'll see. Maybe it's part of the strategy. I don't know. So, Christmas and <laughs> Lucy, you're killing me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Christmas and Matt were discussing who should go up on the block next week. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of context here. Paul has been pushing for Ramses and Jess to go up with Jason as a potential replacement nominee. But Christmas would rather see Jason go up with Jess initially. She's saying he's a loose cannon, he doesn't listen to the group, and he's a stronger competitor. She thinks that Jess and Ramses are going to crumble under the pressure. So they're not really as big of a threat as Jason. And she says that Ramses could still be the potential replacement <laughs> nominee. No, she took my slipper! She said that Ramses could be the potential replacement nominee. So she is kind of going against Paul's thinking here. I don't think that bodes well for Christmas. So Mark comes over and he says, uh, yeah, it looks like the other side is kind of banking on that battle back competition. They think it's going to happen and they're thinking that Cody can come back. So this group is like, whoa, they're probably going to try and target the girls first so that Cody will have a better chance to come back. Makes sense. All right. So then swap out Mark for Paul in this discussion. And Paul says, you know, I heard that Jason said if he wins the next HOH, he'd put up Jess and Ramsey's. So he's definitely trying to give Jason some credibility here, trying to get him in with the group a little bit more because Paul wants Ramsey's to go next week, not Jason. So Christmas is like, no freaking way. She's not believing that for a second that Jason would put up Jess and Ramsey's. So then they're talking about which targets are the most dangerous. So they've got three main targets right now, Jess, Ramsey's, and Jason. So Paul is arguing that Jess and Ramsey's are the worst, but I think I would say he's thinking Ramsey's is the ultimate grand supreme worst. So he is arguing that Alex can help them control Jason because he'll listen to her. I don't know. Jason is really a loose cannon. I don't know if even Alex can rein him in. So Christmas disagrees with Paul. She is saying no. Jason needs to go. Uh, he's a loose cannon. We can't deal with that. So then Christmas su suggests repairing some relationships meaning like Ramsey's and Jess. And Paul is just like, oh, hell no. He is not doing that. He wants those two out of here. He's not gonna bother working on a relationship with them. So then Christmas is like, all right, well, here's the thing. Let me work my magic on them and you work yours. Like we play the game differently. I'll do my thing, you do yours. Side note, I'm pretty sure Paul said that he used to work as a magician for like parties and stuff. I could totally see that. But again, Christmas is contradicting Paul here, and while that's like not a problem and it's normal and like there should be open discussion, um, Paul is not playing that way. So I think he's gonna start turning on Christmas here. All right, so then Kevin and Paul were chatting in the HOH room. Kevin's just like, hey Paul, how you doing? So <laughs> Paul says he doesn't trust any of these mother freakers. And Kevin's like, yeah, well I gotta tell you something. I don't trust Jason anymore. And Paul's like, oh yeah, duh, Jason's a freaking idiot. Everybody is associating him with Jess and Cody now. Like, he's basically done. He's blowing up his own game. So then, Paul is talking about his strategy moving forward. He tells Kevin that after this week, he's going to fall back. He's going to let other people take control, let other people run stuff. <laughs> Come on. I don't believe that. I think uh, the second anybody starts doing what Paul doesn't want, <laughs> he's gonna jump in there. He also says like, uh, he's not gonna win competitions until he feels like he's in danger. He's got one more week of safety after this, and then I think Paul's gonna wanna be going for those wins. <laughs> All right, so he says that the big group is gonna eat themselves alive soon enough. 
I do agree with that. I think, you know, they're going to keep going through, get rid of the leader, bring in a new leader, get rid of the leader. And it's just going to keep going like that. So then Kevin is like, yeah, but you know who's great? Alex. She's totally with you now, Paul, and she's top three player. So he says she's athletic, she's smart, she's going to she's gonna do well. And Paul's like, yeah, I know, she's great, and I totally trust her. So then Kevin says, Alex even told me if she wins HOH, she's going to put up Jess and Ramsey's. And I believe she did say that. That is true. So then Kevin is like, Paul... You've been my best friend since week one. I'm never going to go against you. Aww. And then Paul says that he trusts him and Alex the most. Aww. Okay, so then Kevin starts listening to Paul's Drake CD, which was, it was just really funny. I love listening to Kevin talk about music and stuff. So then Kevin is like, Paul, what do you think about Christmas? And Paul says, mm, you know what? I think she's going to be out soon because she's really bossy. And the big group is going to get sick of that. They're not going to like it. And then Paul says, you just got to let her be bossy. Oh, shit! He's just going to let her freaking ruin her game like that and not even try to stop it. I thought those two were tight at first, but now you can see. I don't think Paul wants to keep Christmas around for a few reasons. First of all, she's not going to be that huge competitive threat that he was hoping because she's got a busted foot. Also... Well, and that's making him think, like, what do I need her around for? Also, she is now starting to contradict him, and he's not about that. He's got this whole group of sheep followers, sheeple, whatever, and he's ready to roll with that crew because they're listening to whatever he says. But Christmas is standing up to him. She's voicing an opposing opinion, and he doesn't like it. So he's like, you know what? If she's going to take herself out, she's going to take herself out. Damn. Okay, so then there was some sort of banner plane or skywriting outside yesterday. It said something like, love life. But it didn't seem to be Big Brother related, so let's move on. So then Jason and Josh were chatting in the money bedroom, and damn. You know that your game is in the shitter <laughs> when you're asking Josh for advice. So Jason is just like, what the hell's going on? I thought the plan this week was to take out Cody that's like set in stone. Why is everybody acting so weird? So Josh is like... Um, I think you need to stay away from Cody. <laughs> you think? So he tells Jason, just chill, relax. You're freaking people out by hanging out with Cody and Jess so much. And Jason's like, well, why can't we talk to them? What's the deal with that? So Josh is like, that's just the game, man. That's just how it works. It sounds like Josh is learning. But don't get too excited. You'll see why soon. So then... Paul was talking some more crap about Christmas last night. It really seems like he's feeling threatened by her. So he was talking to Elena and Mark in the HOH room. He brings up how Christmas said that she's going to try to rekindle relationships with the other side. And he's like, oh yeah, Christmas, come talk to me in a week when you're wondering why everyone's acting weird around you. <gasps> okay, so Christmas did end up having her one-on-one -on -one chat with Ramses. They were in the backyard. They're talking about that power veto competition because, again, Paul was super pissed that Ramses was trying to win it, or at least it looked like like he was. I think Paul only beat Ramses by, like, a few seconds or something, so it was really close. But Ramses is swearing, again, that he didn't... Well, actually, he wasn't saying that he wasn't trying for it. He was swearing that he wouldn't have used it on himself. So you're telling me that Ramses would win that freaking power veto and then not use it on himself? If somebody did that, that would make me want to vote them out. Even if I had a completely different plan, because that is so dumb. Alright, so Ramsey's is like, I feel like I'm the only one who believes myself. Yeah, because that's pretty unbelievable. So then Ramsey says he promised himself before coming into the house that he would not throw a competition. So Christmas is like, that's fine, but you should have told everyone that before. And Ramsey's is like, I wanted to, but I felt really ganged up on and I mean they did freaking surround him and go like throw the cup throw the cup <laughs> it, he was ganged up on but still he could have been like um no I don't think it's unreasonable to say I'm up on the block I'm gonna save myself sorry that's how it is so then Christmas is letting him know like yeah Paul was really pissed off at you after the power veto competition and Ramsey says he's been trying to get Paul alone to talk all day but he hasn't been able to do that yet and he really doesn't want to be on Paul's bad side. I think it's a little late for that because Ramsey's is pretty much Paul's number one target now after Cody. Ooh. Okay so then 
Alex and Jason were having a game chat in the money bedroom. Again, Alex warns Jason, you need to break away from Cody. People have heard you guys talking about, excuse me, possible battle back competition. It's not a good look. They think that you're planning to work with Cody if he ends up coming back. And again, Jason is like, why does it matter? Because you're playing freaking Big Brother, man. This is not real life. Okay, so then Alex also tells him, again, you need to work on your relationship with Christmas because she's got it out for you. She's going around this whole house telling everybody that you're a loose cannon and that you need to go. So give her some attention and then maybe she'll change her story. Um, so he's like, I don't want to suck up to people. I don't want to suck dick. And then <laughs> Alex is like, you need to suck up to people at least until jury. That's just how this game works. Get over it. So then, uh, you know, Alex knows that Jason is just going to screw himself over. So she's trying to put in some work w for Jason with Christmas. So she's talking to Christmas and she says, if Jason wins HOH, he will put up Justin Ramsey's. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I think maybe he would say that, but then if he got a taste of that HOH, he'd be like, ah, I don't care. <laughs> that's what I think. And I don't think it's working on Christmas either. She's just like, that sounds great, but mm, no. <laughs> okay, so then last night people were getting a little slap happy. They were being a bunch of petty betties. Josh was saying he wants to call out Cody before he goes. Paul is saying he wants to hand Cody his bag and or open the door for him to leave on Thursday. And then Christmas is saying after Cody leaves, she wants to say something to Jess right before the HOH competition. Some sort of like psychological warfare to mess her up. Oh my god, you guys are getting what you want. Just freaking play the game and don't be dicks. So then today they had the power veto ceremony. Paul used it on Josh uh, as planned and put up Cody in his place, which means... We've got Cody versus Alex versus Ramsey's up on the block. And then, as planned, Josh made some sort of speech or comment or something trying to egg Jess and Cody on. So we didn't get to see that. But the feeds came back on with Josh and Jess arguing. So Josh is like, oh, who's going to look like the biggest fool? Because, like, Jess and Cody are wearing the uh, vetoed costumes and Jess is like uh, you do <laughs> you're a pawn on both sides of the house nobody cares about you and then Josh is like well you're going home next week that's not necessarily true and Jess says I don't freaking care everybody's using you you're doing their dirty work and Josh says he doesn't care as long as she goes home before him and Jess says effing bring it I think it's worth noting that Cody did not engage in this whole exchange he really restrained himself, it sounds like, during the power veto ceremony. But seriously, Josh pisses, pisses me off. He pisses me off! What was the point of that? You know, he was doing well, just kind of fading into the background. But then that mouth, again. I feel like this was so unnecessary, and I hate when people can't just, like, you know, execute their moves and then move on. Like, you really gotta rub salt in the wound and be like that. It just looks so dumb. So anyway... It's not just him. I'm just pointing out Josh in this instance. So then Kevin and Paul game chat in the HOH room. Things are getting a little freaky. Um, <laughs> Paul's like, Kevin, I need you to do me a favor this week. And it'll put us both in a really good position next week. So Kevin's like, okay, what would that be? So Paul asked Kevin to vote out Ramsey's this week. He wants to throw a hanky vote in there. He says it'll throw people off. Nobody will think it's you. Uh, just look at the $25,000. Nobody knows that that was you except for me. Just look at you voting for Christmas to stay last week. Nobody really knows that except for me. So Kevin's like, mm, yes. I mean, he seemed a little bit suspicious of it at first, but then Paul was like, come on, man. It's going to be great. No one needs to know except for you and me. That sounds so scandalous. So then Kevin agrees to it. He says it's a done deal. Oh my god. Okay, Kevin almost like screwed up already. <laughs> he was talking to Elena about the vote and he was like, yeah, the vote this week, it's going to be like 8-2 for Cody to go. And Elena's like, wait, 8-2? <laughs> I know that Jess will vote for him to stay, but who's the other person that's not voting Cody out? And then Kevin's like, ah, oh, you know, somebody's going to throw a crazy vote in there. Okay, so then... Paul and Jason were chatting in the HOH room. 
And Jason's like, I want to be a team player. What can I do? So Paul says, you know what? People are really freaking paranoid about you talking to Justin Cody so much. People meaning Paul. So he's like, you need to cut that shit out. Uh, and then Jason is like, yeah, I'm really worried because people are acting weird around me. And he's worried that Jason, or sorry. Jason is worried that Ramses would like vote to keep Cody this week and people would blame him for it. Paul reminds him, Ramses is up on the block and cannot vote this week. But he says... Someone might still try to do that. Ah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Paul just asked Kevin to vote out Ramses, and you know he's gonna try to blame it on Jason. Paul's gonna try to blame it on Jason. That's crazy. All right. So then, remember how I said before that Cody didn't engage with Josh during the whole POV thing? Well. Cody strikes back. Oh my god. Okay, so we didn't get to see the conversation between the two of them, but we saw the aftermath. So apparently, Cody went up to Josh when they were out in the backyard, and he told Josh, basically, if you mess with us again, I will tell people on the outside that you are a sexual predator, and you peep on girls in the shower. What the F? Oh my god. Okay, first of all, that's really messed up. Okay, People were complaining about that a few, like, I don't know, last week that they thought that Josh was peeping on them in the shower. And if that's true, that is really messed up. If it's not true, you can't just go around calling people sexual predators. Like, that can really damage somebody's reputation. So Josh is just like, oh man, that guy's an idiot. He says that he's 23 years old and there's beautiful girls here, so he's just gonna look at them. It's not a big deal. Ugh, okay. So then Mark and uh, Raven are telling him, like, oh, don't listen to Cody. He's just, uh, whatever. He's just trying to get a rise out of you. Which is kind of um, hilarious because last week, Raven was one of the people accusing Josh of peeping on her in the shower. Where's the outrage now? Come on. She should have been like, yeah, you peeped on me. That's gross. Don't do that. Okay, so then... Christmas, uh, I told you guys a few days ago that she was supposed to have surgery today on her foot to put the pins in there and stuff, but I guess that got postponed until Wednesday. It sounds like she does have some sort of appointment today, though. I'm not sure when exactly she'll be leaving the house, but I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's spoiler. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. A lot of stuff going on right now, and until tomorrow, much love.